Good evening, Ken Long from Tortoise Capital, August 6, 2009, with an update on a five-day down pattern in Kellogg. It uh, fired today, uh, but if you didn't take the trade, um, but we're still interested in it, here's something we could, uh, here's how we would look at that. Oops. So we're going to frame it in the usual way, highest to high. Uh, I can see it found support there at right around 46 at the 50-day moving average. Like clockwork, that's what we got there. Uh, so this was the day we're interested in it, and you can see that it actually uh, where it fired. Um, trading this thing intraday, you found that there was actually opportunities to get price improvement on the entry, um, and that's that's the frame we would have had from yesterday. Now, uh, looking at this chart pattern, what we could we could frame this in a couple ways. Now, we could now say, let's wait to see 47, and then enter. Um, we might also be willing to uh, add another position if it gaps down and reverses and goes north. We'd like to we could enter there with the same initial stop. Um, but after five days down and one day up, we're already starting to see that uh, max pain sell-off and, and a hook on a daily basis. And so tactical momentum of any type in Kellogg uh, is still going to be very favorable uh, because you can see that uh, we can buy it as up to, uh, oh, at least 47 and still be able to get two to one easily uh, with a wide stop. So that's a quick look at Kellogg and the five day down.